How you guys doing? So it's been a while and we are nearing the end of the semester. So I wanted to get some quick videos to you about what's going to happen. So the first thing is, this is about exams. So I want to tell you about the three exams we have remaining. And those three exams are the second exam and the third exam and the final. I'm not really outside the Health Sciences Center from six years ago. Again, I've had to quickly learn how to stream. So I had some experience with sound recording before all this started. But right when the COVID-19 changed us, I had to quickly learn how to be a streamer. And so I've, I've picked this up. And it's actually quite easy. Uh, I mean, it takes some work, but it's not as difficult as you would think. So if it's something that is in your future and you'd like to know about it, uh, just talk to me about it. I'd be happy to talk to you about how to get yourself set up. You could even use your cell phone or some kind of webcam. Uh, that's up to you. But anyway, the subject of this video is about your three exams. So let's get to that right now. So if you're looking at the title page and wondering why it was off center, it's so I could sit over here and I could point to the different things during the presentation. That's why this is shifted over here. So if I leave the screen, it looks a little off center. But once I sit here, you can see why it's like that. So this is only for spring of 20. So if you're looking at this video and taking a chemistry class with me during another semester, it doesn't apply to uh, to that semester. So we're here to talk about the exams that we have for the rest of the semester. We've got our two semester exams, number two and number three. And just keep in mind, I'm only counting one of those. And you have already taken one of those. And of course, also the final exam. So how are we going to handle these? Well, nothing has changed. We still can't meet on campus. So I'm just going to set these up as they are to be completely online. And when will they be available? Well, they're already posted now. I've already posted the uh, two semester exams now, and they're going to open up on April 25th. And I wanted to get this video out there first before you click on them. And keep in mind, they close on May 5th. So if you want to grade at the end of this semester, you've got to take the exam between April 25th and May 5th, one of them. And remember, I'm only counting one of yours. So if you've already got a really, really uh, phenomenal grade on your first exam, uh, these two you don't really need to take. You should take them just to evaluate your own knowledge. And if you get a lower grade on one of these two exams that we're talking about um, than you got on your first exam, it's not going to hurt you. If you get a higher grade on any one of these two exams than you got on your first exam, your grade's going to go up. So what's on the exam? What's the format? Well, I'm just rehashing the questions from the Newton activities. So I'm taking all the Newton activities and I'm just selecting some questions from them and I'm putting those online as an exam. So if you've been paying attention during the Newton activities, you've already seen uh, the questions. The numbers might be different and it's not adaptive. So on the Newton, when you were doing it, you could skip it or get more instruction. On the exam, that's not the case. It's giving you a question, and if you skip it, it counts as a zero. It counts as uh, you got it wrong. So watch out for that. If you're in the habit of skipping a question or just keep you know, going through all the questions, all the questions that you skip and go through, it marks as zero. So watch out for that. Now, during the uh, first exam, I gave you a bunch of problems and I was grading you on your work. In this case, no work needs to be shown. You just need to answer them the same way that you answer the student activities. These will also be presented in random order, meaning that the questions that you get on your particular exam are not going to be in the same order as the same exam for another person. So while you take the exam, you can copy down all the questions and the answers uh, by hand. And if you give them to someone else and they do the same thing, they're probably not going to get a very good grade because all the questions are presented in a different order to every single uh, person. Now, what are the caveats? There is a strict limit of two hours. So when you click on that to start it, it starts timing you. And two hours at the end of your first click, when you start it, it ends. 
So the time to do this exam is not when you're standing in line at Food Lion, you know, six feet in front of the uh, person behind you. <laughs> Make sure you're six feet apart if you're doing that. So I know some of you like to do your Newton activities on your phone when you have a quick five minutes. This is not the time to do that. You do not want to do this when you're prone to interruption. So if you've got something going on around you that's likely to interrupt you, do not start this. Now, I'm not going to let you do it again. It's only one try. So when you start that, that's your one try to do this. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm only counting one of these three exams. So if you take the second exam and something happens and you can't finish it, and you email me and say, I got interrupted, can I have another chance? My answer is going to be no. What you need to do is do better on the third exam. So make sure that you have time when you will not be interrupted for those two hours. Now also, unlike the quizzes and the Newton where they give you the answers and sometimes the method to do these, I do not give these to you at the end. No answers are given at the end. One of the reasons for that is a lot of you are going to have the same questions on these exams. So I'm doing this for security reasons, so you can't just take those answers and give them to someone else and they just copy them down. Already, since they're being presented in random order, there's one thing uh, that kind of makes it so that's difficult. The other thing I'm doing is I'm not giving you the answers at the end. And one of the big reasons also for this is because I'm going to be using these questions on the final. So the final is just going to consist of a subset of your Newton questions, which is also the same questions that I'm asking on these two exams. If you prefer to take this in the alternative format, which is the format that we started the semester in, where I gave you nine problems or the equivalent of nine problems, and I asked you to show me the work and graded you on your work, and this was proctored, I can do that. But in order to do that, you have to take an incomplete. And then when we're allowed to meet in person again, then I can give you the proctored exam. We can do it in the uh, learning center. And the final, if you prefer that in the alternative format or the format that we have during face-to-face, -face, which will be 18 problems proctored, again, you've got to take an incomplete and we'll have to wait until we have an opportunity where you can actually take this in person. Now, I'm talking about incompletes here, taking an incomplete. Normally, during the face-to-face -face semester, I usually don't grant incompletes. This is a whole nother subject that's going to take another video. So watch for that video coming up really shortly. And this also answers the question, if you need an extension. If you don't have enough time before the semester ends, uh, which will be in a little bit less than two weeks and need an extension, I will grant it to you. I'm going to have to make a whole other video on this, but what it amounts to is that you'll be granted an incomplete. So the short story is administration has asked us to be very liberal with incompletes, which is not the case during a regular face-to-face -face class. So you need an extension, I'll give you an incomplete. Now keep in mind, your completed work cannot be reattempted. An incomplete means you need time to finish up what you haven't done yet. So if you haven't done any of the Newton activities or you have a lot to catch up on or you didn't have time to take any of the two semester exams or the final, this will help you. Now, once you've taken one of those exams, it's complete. I'm not going to reopen it for you. I'll extend all the deadlines, but if you've already taken your one attempt at one of these exams, that counts as being complete. So there's a lot more details. So watch for another video about uh, incompletes and uh, details on getting an extension and how long uh, you can have to do this because this semester has been quite unique because of this COVID situation. So there it is. That's a summary of the exam situation. If you have any questions, please shoot me off an email. Nobody has taken advantage of the, uh, my offer to do the Google Meet with you. I've had a, a few students, quite a few students, email me, and there's a handful of students that actually dialogue with me on the email. I've had very little requests to make a custom video, 
but I have had some and I've made those as appropriate. So let me know if you have any questions. It seems like email is the preferred communication method for most of the students and the, uh, they want to keep it short. So good luck on the exams and watch for the video about the extension and the incomplete coming up very shortly.